Hey guys, welcome to the 38th C-Sharp tutorial that I'm making for the new Boston. And in this tutorial, I'm going to continue showing you how to use the Stream Reader class. So all you're going to need for this tutorial is a button, and on your button one click, make sure that you create a new open file dialog. And then once it shows that dialog, just make sure that it checks to see if the user actually does in fact select a file and open it in the open file dialog. And then if the user does open a file, um, just have a new stream reader be created off that file so that you can uh, read the file that the user opens. Alright, and make sure that you're using the system.io namespace so that we have access to the stream reader class right here. Alright, so in this tutorial, we're going to be looking at the peak method. So we're just going to do right here, sr for our stream reader class, dot peak. And the peak method is very similar to the read method. So basically what it will do is it will just read a character at the position. And the only difference really is though, um, it doesn't advance the position at all. So if we were to use the read method though, so sr.read, what it will do is it will advance the position by one. So the peak method, what it will do right here is it will just read the character and then it won't change the position at all though. But then here when it does the read method, it will advance the position by one since it read one character. So let's just say the position right here was zero. So we just say zero. And then after this one reads though, it'll change it to one. All right. And if you even hover your mouse over the read method right here, it says reads the next character from the input stream and advances the character position by one character. All right. And let's just go ahead and see what this looks like here. So we're just gonna set this equal to a character. So we're gonna say character C equals and then sr.peak, but since this peak method returns an integer, we're going to have to convert it into a character. Now, there's only one way to do this, and that's just to use casting, so we're just going to have to put in parentheses before this character right there, and basically what this will do is just convert it into a character, but don't worry about this right now if you don't understand it. It's just basically a way of converting it. We're going to get into that in a later tutorial. All right, and we're going to want to do the same thing for this read method right here. So we're just going to say character c1 equals, and we're going to have to convert it into a character. So we're just going to say character like that. And again, don't worry about this. Basically, just converts whatever this reads into a character. All right, so after this reads right here, it says the position is 0. But then after this reads right here, it says the position is 1. So then if we were to go ahead and read again, read another character, um, it would be a different character. So since these are both reading at the same position, they should be the same character. So C and C1 should be equal. But if we were to go ahead and read another character after this, it would be a different character completely. It would be the one after um, these two. So it would be the one at position 1. So let's just go ahead right here and see what happens. So we do character C2 equals and then sr.read and then we're just going to convert this obviously into a character so I'm going to say character alright so right off the bat the position is zero and after this reads the position is still zero but after this reads it changes the, changes the position to one so these two are both reading at the exact same position so they're always going to be the same character but this one is reading at position one so it's going to be a different character than these two and let's just go ahead and make sure that this works right here. So we're just going to say message box dot show. And we're just going to say, right in a line right here, we're just going to say C dot two string. And then following that, we're just going to put um, C one and so on. But in between each uh, one, I'm just going to put a colon so it's easier to read. And then we're going to do C one dot two string followed by a colon so that we can, can read it easier and then we're just going to do C2 after that. Alright, so let's just go ahead and make sure that this works right here. We just debug and click our button to open the open file dialog, select this file right here. And as you can see, yep, these are two of the exact same characters. So it read at position 0, read this. And then since this peak method doesn't change the position, this method read at the exact same position. So these are both reading the exact same character and that's why they're the same. But this one read at position one, so it's obviously a different character. And if we were to look at the file in HXD, we see it just says Adam. So these two both read at position one or zero actually, 
And then this one, though, read a position 1, so it read the D. All right, so that's pretty much it for this tutorial on using the peak method. So see you guys.